Right, today we're going to go on a, uh, a slightly different route to where we went last time, hopefully capture uh, some more of the views down by the ferry, um, Emirates Tower and hopefully the new aircraft carrier as well. So uh, yeah, follow me along on my bike ride. Today we'll be taking uh, bike number two, as uh, after I cleaned my bike last time it developed this horrible clicking noise from the pedal. It's driving me absolutely nuts. So, um, yeah, we'll be taking this bike today until I get the other one sorted out. Right. All right, so I haven't really planned this route, so it's sort of off the cuff, really. We'll just go a uh, slightly different route and uh, hopefully it'll all be good. I haven't used this bike for quite some time, so I've already noticed it could probably have done with a little bit of air in the front tyre, but uh, oh well, it is what it is, I guess. Absolutely glorious day today. Just got back from town and it was like 28 degrees, it said in the car. And it is what midday, so I guess it'll get a little bit hotter come about one o'clock. So instead of going straight on, we're going to turn right at this roundabout this time. This wood this should kind of I'm hoping take us out uh, somewhere along uh, Heritage Heritage Way. Still quite breezy, but I think without the breeze, it'd be unbearable. hoping I'll recognise somewhere soon. <laughs> I know I'm heading in kind of the right direction but I'm not really too sure. I think it is there a cut through here. I'm gonna have to double back if it's not. Haha yes. Let's hope we get a bike through. Yeah plenty of room. So this is the meadow where we ended up last on the last um, bike ride and we come back and this is the bit I was talking about where we bring Logan through once he's tired so he doesn't keep wandering out in the road. But uh, it looks like I've missed out most of the Heritage Way anyway. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so today we can actually continue on and have a look at, uh, well, cycle pass at least in the uh, uh, Explosion Museum. Which we can just 
just about see here on this bend. Already you can see some missiles and this gun, the ship, well, a few guns actually. But yeah, that's in there. Not too far away is a uh, really nice um, little scenic bridge. It's, it's only accessible by pedestrians or cyclists. No, no vehicles allowed. Coming up now, there's a, uh, a better view of the Emirates Tower or Spinnaker Tower, as it's also known. Aircraft carrier in front, directly in front with a uh, Type 45 to the left of it, well, two Type 45 to the left of it. The bridge looks like fairly low tide. Couple of old wreckages there. <laughs> so I have seen better days. Probably should have taken that right hand fork. I'm not sure if you can get through here or not. I've got various different shops and cafes and things down here. I've never really been around here to be honest. But, uh, I'm not sure how much is actually open at the moment anyway. take us to Fortham Road, the main road to the town. I'm not sure what that is, I think it's some sort of old naval quarters or something like that. I could well be wrong, I usually am. <laughs> but, uh, there you go, the sign even says officers quarters. I'm pretty sure that's what it is but uh, feel free to tell me if I'm wrong.
Play a tie on your left. Spinnaker Tower getting ever closer, or Emirates Tower, another boat yard. Nice looking boats in there. The ferry terminal, Gosport Ferry Terminal is just up here on the left. Link Isle of Wight ferries over there. The distance is the dockyard. Gospel ferry. Time to uh, take you along on a um, little trip through the town centre, high street, should I say? Shut considering all the uh, non essential shops are allowed to reopen. So, if you have discount store, the best store in there, Gospel High Street sell absolutely everything in there.
quick I just shot past the uh, new travel lodge hotel that's just been built no sooner it opened it was shut again for the uh, whole COVID-19 situation Straight ahead is another high street with uh, you can't see so many shops, but there's actually quite a lot of shops along there, and it's quite long. But we're going to be turning right for this little bike ride today. Sports field. On the right, where all the kids play football. When they're not social distancing. I think that annoying noise is coming from my uh, mud guard hitting my tyre when I'm going over the bumps. I'm going to need to adjust that a bit. The old train station. I think that was a Victorian train station as well. Obviously shut now. Uh, but again, let me know if I'm wrong. And this is Fortin Road, the main road that takes us back. Vincent's College on the right. I'm turning right here. St Vincent's College still. Home sweet home. <laughs> right. Right folks, that's us for now. So until the next time, take care. See you later.